Step Station. First thing in the morning, still dark. Barbara Road, 10.02, that's the one. Platform 16, stopping at Broughty Ferry, amongst other places. Hey, just crossing the fourth bridge now. Quite a thrill for me living in Glasgow because we don't often have the occasion to go over the fourth bridge the fourth rail bridge, the fourth road bridge next to it and the Queen's Ferry crossing next to that. Notice it's a crossing, not a bridge. It's really good. This was built in the 19th century when they were still <coughs> experimenting with engineering. But it's a considerable feat. Until recently there were full-time painters working on the bridge but uh, they found a more long-lasting paint which means that they don't need to do that now. So just enjoy the pictures of the fourth bridge. This is Baroti Ferry Station with a superb signal box which I believe has been earmarked for preservation and you notice uh, Scott Rail's latest uh, high-speed train on the platform next to it capable of 125 miles per year I think. It's called Broughty Ferry of course because there was before the bridge was built a ferry across the River Tay and then a few years ago they decided that Broughty Ferry which is quite a posh suburb of Dundee deserved a more frequent service and now the station is about four times busier than it used to be which is nice to see okay but I think it's time for a coffee now so I'm going to wander around and find an independent cafe which I have been to before here we are founded in 1897 by David Goodfellow and Margaret Stephen several branches in this area I like the way that there is a baker's next to the cafe the cakes aren't actually made on the premises anymore they're made in a bakery elsewhere there was another bakery up the road another competitor but they went out of business because they were too near the railway line and the vibration of the trains made the soot fall off the roof of the oven onto the cakes and people complained yes you see it's called the gallery cafe I'm going to go in soon to see if they have some Dundee cake because we're near Dundee now Dundee cake was very popular with Mary Queen of Scots because she didn't like glacé cherries I'm impressed that they had a means of making glacé cherries back in those days but because she didn't like glacé cherries she wanted a recipe for fruit cake which didn't include them hence the Dundee cake because Dundee rose to the challenge Hello, do you have um, Dundee cake muffins? Yeah, yeah we do and um, they're one night each or you can get four for six pounds Four for six pounds, that sounds good value. I'll have four for six four pounds. For six pounds yeah. Do you sell many of them? Sorry? Do you sell many of them? Um, we're doing sort of festive areas, so like around New Year's we'll probably sell a lot of them, but it's usually we get, we've got the bigger ones as well. Oh, and right. right. um, they sort of sell them. Okay. We say uh, when people are coming in and asking for well, well, what they like, we say we should buy one of these. Well. That's, cool. That's great. A Dundee cake muffin and a lovely cup of coffee. I've cut the muffin open so you can see the richness of the fruit inside. Fruit, almonds and marmalade of course, which makes the cake taste very tangy. A beautiful cake. Well the Dundee cake muffin is superb. I can really taste the marmalade in it. It's a really beautiful cake. It went down very easily, I can tell you. And the coffee was nice and strong, just what you need in the middle of the morning. By the way, the guy that served me in the cake shop is of the Goodfellow family. He's related to the owners. Yes, it's nice to get a window table with a view, but occasionally people stand in front of the view. Maybe they should have yellow lines marked on the pavement. Please do not stand here. You spoil the view from the cafe. Well, it's doing a roaring trade. A gentleman just walked in and he walked out again saying, too busy, I'm coming back next week. <laughs> so there you are, that's the draw of independent cafes with the decent cakes, which was really... Oh. Little pause there, somebody nearly walked into the camera, but that's the danger of uh, filming in the street, of course. Um, I'm off just down to the left now because there's a castle here. I might show you a clip of the castle in a minute. If you're looking for a telescope, this charity shop has an enormous one for £50. Seems good value to me. The Firth of Tay is not a bad place to build a castle. A good place to defend Dundee, if not the whole of Scotland. Now I'm wondering, can you swim in the River Tay? Let's pan round and see what we can see. Oh my God, look at that. People actually swim in the Tay. Well, I swim in the Campsies near my home, but I'm not sure about the River Tay. Anyway, let's see. 
ya ba ya ba ya ba ye ya ba. How do they think of these names? I don't know how to say it. No phone number, so I can't ask them. Maybe it says on the website. Ye ya ba. And into the day. My God, look at that. They've been at it since 1884, which when you think about it is five years after the Tay Bridge fell into the River Tay with a train on board. So maybe that's what inspired them to start diving and swimming, following the train. Might get some shelter from the wind in the castle, actually, because castles are meant to be fortifications. In other words, protection from the elephants, sorry, elements. I always get that wrong. And you're probably wondering whether I do take off all my clothes and jump into the Tay. Well, it's January, so we'll see. <laughs> Castle with a view, view of the beach, looking north. Nice beach. Nobody swimming in the Tay though today. Maybe it's a wee bit cold. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Somebody said, yup. <laughs> nice solid pair of gates there keep the enemy out. And as you can see I'm now at the station waiting for the train back home and I've noticed the Gallic version instead of referring to the ferry seems to be Port Brotty. Port Brotty. So here we are. Which as you can see is on the cycle route from Edinburgh to Aberdeen. So if the train is cancelled um, I did notice that one of the charity shops had a bike for sale so you could buy the bike and then cycle to Aberdeen if you want. And if you had enjoyed this video about my trip to Brotty Ferry and the cafe, the wonderful cafe run by Goodfellow and Stephen and the lovely cakes, the Dundee cake, then like this video and um, follow my channel, which you're on now. And I have a website which is called Coffees, Cakes and Trains. I had to think there. Thank you very much.